Hi, hello everybody. Once more, it is the OGGO, Greg Osman. Thank you for watching and welcome to episode 34 of World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. If you did miss that last episode, you can click the eye on the top right of the screen. Go check that out. And please, if you would please, like, share, and subscribe with the video in the channel here. And as always, check out the video description. It's got our link tree to all of our great channel supporters and sponsors. Those information on channel memberships. Got some interesting things coming up with channel memberships in the next week or so. Go down and check that out in the description below. Join Alex Davis. Become a member today. Episode 34. What about Lost Dirt Racing? And we are on the last race of season two with the street stock. And we are in a situation, ladies and gentlemen, because last race was where? Uh, where was it? Uh, Kokomo. So we finished third at the uh, at the the showcase in Kokomo. Not bad, not bad at all. But then we got our first win. Ah, uh, yes, that was a great feeling. We finally got our first win at Fairbury in the street stock. That was you know, mm, chef's kiss. Got the dub. Prairie View, though, 15th. I love Prairie View as a track, but it just seemed like we couldn't get out of our own way. Uh, finished 15th there, and then we went to Lima Land and finished third. So we've got an interesting situation now because we are fourth in the point standings. Uh, 14, 18, uh, Blake Schneekloth has in total points to our 13, 74. So we are 44 points behind Blake Schneekloth for the championship. Uh, we're heading to Eldora here. Uh, so what we're going to do here is, uh, engine is the only thing that has not been upgraded. Now I have 57,005 or 745 in the bank. I have enough to get the level three upgrade. So we're going to do that. And then I have about enough money to do just one of the parts upgrades, uh, within here. So I got $9,982, but first and foremost, I'm going to make sure that the suspension is repaired. Uh, tires and chassis are fine, uh, but we're gonna come back in here and look at this. So we've got $9,530 $9, here. Um, I need the performance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade part two within the level three engine. So we're gonna get max performance as possible uh, with the plus four instead of the plus one or plus three. Uh, and only a little bit of durability. Um, haven't really had an issue with durability so far, uh, but we'll see. We're 116 out of 116, 58% upgraded from a totality standpoint, 55% overall durability. So Eldora Speedway is up next to end the season here. If we don't win the championship, I'll have to kind of figure out what we're going to do after that, but uh 40 laps twelve thousand five hundred dollars to the winner let's go all right so the good news here is we were able to grab the sponsor bonus in qualify in practice and we were able to do it on the first lap so made one small change with the setup and time to qualify 17206 is the goal time for a top five qualifying spot uh, I want to get as close to that as possible, if not beating it. So here we go. Pop it back in here. Again, I don't understand why it jumps out of gear. Oh, excuse me. I don't understand why it jumps out of gear when uh, you're already moving, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, here we go. Green flag is out, and we are on the clock here at the Big E, the historic the famed Eldora Speedway. Remember, 17.206 is the goal time to beat here. The good lap. Good lap. 17.7. Wow. Wow. They're way off. I guess that wasn't a good lap. I think I need to... Go back on my. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Let's take a look at the result. Okay, so 17698 is our official time. We timed in at 18th overall. Brewster grabs top honors with Tiernan and Cross in second and third. 
Brandon Jurens, Mike Thompson, Samantha Bell. Uh, you can see fifth, eighth, and ninth. Um, we got a work cut out for us. Kylie Rollins there in seventh. Got a work cut out for us if we want to grab title. All right, getting ready for a heat race here. We're in heat race number six. I didn't see where we're starting. Uh, we should be like, one, two, should be third. Um, made a couple small changes with the setup uh, with stagger and the gear ratio. So uh, here we go. Uh, 10 should be 10 laps. And I don't think it's longer than that, but should be 10 laps. And here we go. All right, so yeah, top two to the dash, top three to the A main, because this is a showcase race. Top three head to the A main. Green flag is out. Ten laps is the distance at Eldora Speedway. See how we can do here in the heat race. Ace Jones and I forgot who that was. Is that Adam Tiernan? No, Tanner Van in top. Both jump to the top side of the track. We're going to get by Chase Jones, grab the second position, put ourselves in a good spot to transfer through to the qualified dash if we can hold him off for the remainder of the race. Ooh, Jones gets a good run on the inside, and I just bounce it off the outside wall down the front straightaway. We're going to try to go to the top side. Not really able to make anything happen up there. Do get a good run going down the back stretch. Into turn three, root him out of the way. Try to go underneath, got real loose there. I think I need to go back on my stagger adjustment. If we make the qualified dash, it'd be a great way to test it out. All right, back into second place. Vanded top is out to about a two second lead now. We're not able to hold that bottom as much as well as I would like. Chase Jones almost makes a move there. We pulled him off. White flag is out one lap to go in heat race number six started third we are running in the second position good enough spot to put us into the qualified dash we're going to come out of turn number four down the front straightaway and grab second place in the heat race i'm gonna go dash racing after a small 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 setup adjustment tanner van and top gets a race win we come home second chase jones grabbing that last a main transfer spot. Everybody else to a consolation race. All right, A main time. Make or break. Hero zero. All those cliched words and sayings. 40 laps. Here we go. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A main time from the famed Eldora Speedway. He's in finale. Chase Jones starting 18th after a third place run in Heat 6. Ned Hill starting 16th after a third place run in Heat 4. We got Tommy Bailey finished 11th in the dash. He's starting 11th. There we are. Finished 9th in the dash, so we're starting 9th. We got my two rivals, one right in front of me, one to the right of me. Kylie Rollins in that green car. Cam Jurens in the black car. And Blake Schneecloth, if we see him, he's in a tealish white car. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for him. But if we don't see him in front of us, he must be behind us. So let's keep that true and keep Cam Jurens behind us and try to reel in Kylie Rollins here. She goes three wide down the front straightaway. One lap complete. 39 to go. We're going to hit the infield wall just a little bit. we send the car out. Wow. 10%. That hurt the car 10%. Yikes. We're just going to roll with it. Try to keep off of that infield wall as much as possible. We've got... Who is this right in front of us? we got Carson and Tanner. I'm not sure which one's which. One of them's in this purple car. The other one's in that blue and yellow car. A double dose of Vanden Top. We're trying to get in front of them. There's Kylie Rollins in the fifth position. We need to get by her to try to increase our chances. We 
don't see Blake Schneekloth at all, then that means he is either not in the race or behind us. I kind of, I'd be hard pressed to, it'd be difficult to believe that he didn't make the show, especially being the points leader. Uh, who's that? Tanner Vandentop got by us there. We're going to sneak back through and grab fifth on him. Oh, Kylie Rollins made some big contact behind us with the other Vandentop. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She lost a lot of spots. Oh, boy. This is drama to the nth degree. We are in the fifth position. She's going to have a lot of damage, so she's not going to be as fast as she normally is. Am Jurens, I didn't see him in the top ten either so this just got very interesting here oh boys and girls we'll have to see what happens here we're gonna come around turns three and four complete lap number seven this time 33 laps to go at the big el dora speedway looking inside of brandon jurens cam's relative i don't know if they're brothers i don't know if they're father and son I just don't know, so I'm not going to assume. They're related. That's all I know. Their cars are different colors, but the numbers are practically identical. Fine. So, real look to the inside of Brandon Jurens there. Not able to clear him through one and two. I thought we had him cleared, but we are in front of him. We should, we do have him cleared going into turn number three. Put us up to the fourth position now. As the front three remains unchanged with Jeremy Cross leading the way with five to go. Adam Tiernan running in the second position and Heath Brewster in third. We are running in fourth. We're going to come around here four to go at the flag stand. That was a great corner. There is Chase Jones running 15th. We're going to get by him. Drivers are on edge and I do have white knuckles right now. I'm hoping we can, <laughs> I'm hoping we put ourselves in a good enough position to where we gained all the points we could possibly gain on Schneekloth, Jurens, Cam Jurens, not Brandon Jurens, who's right behind us, and Kylie Rollins, whom I have not encountered just yet. So uh, she's running in the top 15 at least, but that's still 11 positions behind where we are as we've got two laps to go. Jurens is trying everything. Brandon Jurens is trying just about everything he can to get by us. Tanner Vandentop is right behind him as well. So I could lose a decent amount of points if I make a major mistake here. White flag is out. Big picture points racing right now. Oh boy, we're going down the back straight away at Eldora Speedway. Throw it into turn three. I made a little bit of a mistake there, but I was able to grab it back up. Coming out of turn number four. And we're going to cross the line in the fourth position now. Okay. We gotta find out. I, I I don't see Blake Schneekloth anywhere. So let's just go through the results here real quick. Jeremy Cross grabs the race win. Heath Brewster in second. Adam Tiernan gonna round out the podium. And myself and Brandon Jurens gonna be the top five. You see there at the bottom of the screen, Cam Jurens comes home home in tenth, and then Kylie Rollins right behind him in eleventh. I don't see. Okay, there's Blake Schneekloth in fourteenth is 14th to 4th worth 44 points we will find out here shortly oh my god my heart is pounding so bad right now all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we finished fourth at eldora speedway in the final race of the year did we gain enough points to grab the championship no we did not oh my goodness blake schneekloth 1540 Mikey Thompson was the other. Okay, I didn't realize we were fighting Mikey Thompson. So we did beat Cam Jurens and Kylie Rollins. So we did circumvent one of them. But let's just check this out here. Mikey Thompson came home seventh. Uh, 136 points to my 142. And then Blake Schneekloth got 122. We only gained 20 points on him. So, uh, wow. Guess you guys are getting another street stock race today. 87.50 from the payout, 31.95 from our sponsor, 11.46 and 3.40, giving us a total of $13,430. Should be able to get some engine stuff upgraded and hopefully have a better season three at the local level 
with the street stock. All right, I'm very disappointed in myself that we weren't able to grab the championship once again. But, you know, we've got enough money to get, you know, level three everything with the street stock at this point. So, uh, oh, I got a message here. So let's crank up the volume in game. See what they have to say. This racing deal is all about give and take out there. I can't tell you how many times I've talked with the drivers who just don't get it. But I'm glad to see you're building a good reputation. Keep it up. Thanks, Boom Briggs. Appreciate that. We're going to stick with Bob's Towing because that's the only one available right now. And there you can see our Season 2 summary here. 6, 3rd, 5, 6, 11, 11, 3, 1, 15, 3, 4. So... Had three finishes of the 11 outside of the top 10. Just wasn't good enough. So we're going to have to go, go at it again. Okay, here we are. We are through season three uh, with the street stock. I know you guys didn't see anything, obviously. So let's uh, fill you in on what happened here. Started off the season on a very high note. Got the win at Kokomo. And Grant Park, so two in a row there. Three in a row now when we won the showcase race at Fairbury. This was a an impressive one because we started like 14th or something like that. Was able to come out and grab the win. And then another win at Sterling County. So we had racked off four in a row to begin the season. And then a second place at Lima Land. And then we went on a little bit of a, a, a slow streak or down streak. Finished sixth at Elm Creek, sixth at Kokomo. Got another win at Fairbury. Uh, that sixth place at Kokomo was the showcase race. Uh, Prairie View finished 11th, just an off night. And then Lima Land <clears throat> came home with a third place finish. You see, we do have the points lead with five wins over Kylie Rollins by 46 points. So... We should be good going into Eldora here. 40 laps, just like the race before. Got a little bit of a different look at the car for this third season here at the local level. But hopefully, barring any major unforeseen circumstances, we should be able to rack up our uh, second championship and our first with the street stock. Let's go. All right, say main time. We are starting in eighth and hopefully our last local level uh, local series, local level, whatever you want to call it. And our last local uh, feature, here we go. All right, A-Main time. Mikey Thompson starting 14th after a third-place finish in Heat 2. We got Brandon Jern starting second after a second-place run in the Qualified Dash. Ricky Cox starting 16th after a third-place run in Heat 4. And there we are, starting in the eighth position after an eighth-place run in the Qualified Dash. 40 laps is the distance here at Eldora Speedway. Green flag is out, and we are racing. Gonna drop to the inside of Jesse Wright down the front straight away. We like the inside quite a bit. Not really able to pull up beside Jesse Wright, but we're gonna get inside of Tommy Bailey just a little bit. Oh, maybe even grab that. Oh, look at that. Looks like the Red Seas just parted. And we're gonna jump up to six, at least for the moment, right behind Kylie Rollins. Remember, Kylie Rollins is second in the point standings behind us. If we beat her, we pretty much lock it up. Uh, so that is uh, that is the goal, you know. The whole point of us having to run another season at the local level was because we were unable to lock up that championship first or second time. Just didn't have enough ponies under the hood the second time around, so... We uh, got got things pointed in the right direction now, and we are up to the fifth position. Got 
by Rollins there. And a Tiernan now, who's running in that fourth position. And Brandon Jerns up there on the top side in that red car. And Jeremy Cross is leading with Heath Brewster in the second position. Quick time, fastest lap of the race with a 17-3. Here and not really pulling away from us at all. As he's battling with Jurens. Oh, he's going to go top side and open up the bottom for us. We're going to be able to make a move here. No. We did let him know we're there. Jurens now drops to the bottom along with Cross and Brewster. We've made the pass on Tiernan, and now we're looking to the inside of Jurens down the front straightaway. Into turn one, got a little loose there through turns one and two. We're gonna pull side by side with Jurens down the back straightaway, dive it hard into turn number three, and we're gonna grab the third position. But here comes Tiernan on the top side with that big high side momentum. Nothing able to happen there. We're gonna nick the inside wall just a little bit. Jurens gets back by Tiernan for the fourth position. You see it last season. Uh, running in the 14th position right now, and we're about to put a lap on him uh, from our perspective. Obviously, he's already a lap on him because the leader has already lapped him, but we are about to put him a lap down to us. And then we've got, I believe that's Tanner Van in top uh, in the white, blue, and yellow car right in front of us now with four laps to go. Caution-free affair, at least so far. And get right by Tanner. That blue, or that red and purplish car is Carson in the top. Tommy Richardson up there in 21st. He is multiple laps down due to him at this point. This the second time we've gone by him. Come out of turn number four. Two sticks in the air. Two laps to go. One through three and four. Went out of turn number four. Biggie Eldora Speedway. White flag is in the air. Final lap. We're going to wrap up the third season with the street stock at the local level and wrap up our first championship with the street stock in defining fashion five wins on the season come home with a second place in the a main jeremy cross grabs the win we come home second heath brewster third brandon jurens fourth and adam tiernan in the fifth position kylie rollins who is second in the point standings comes home in seven excuse me so there we are. We finished second in the A main at Eldora Speedway. And yes, sir, season standing of one, five wins, won by a decent margin. Was it 56 points? Three points. Yes, 56 points over Rollins. <clears throat> Jeremy Cross ended the season in a tie with Blake Schneeklock. Wow, a three way tie. That is crazy. Uh, Cross, Schneekloth, and Cam Jurens all tied with 1492. Cross gets the tiebreaker, I assume, because of wins, but not really sure how the tiebreaker goes with Schneekloth and Jurens there. But Rollins comes home second in the final point standings, and Mikey Thompson in third. Financially from Eldora, 11 250. 34, 10, 19, 48, and 346. We're leaving Eldora with $16,954. All right, we are back from Eldora Speedway in our last race at the local level with the street stock. Got our second place finish as well as wrapping up the championship. I'm sure there's going to be some words said from the outlaws with that. I'm not entirely sure. See what they have to say, if anything. Greg Osmond is the Street Stock Champion. Fans rush to buy official merch. Yes, sir. That is 
what's up right now. Bob's towing. We're going to keep Bob's towing. What do we got? Street stock champion achievement unlocked. We did win a season in the street stock car. And there are the official full season results. One, 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 four wins in a row. Then a second, six, sixth. And then our final win of the season came in race eight, 11th, third, and second. So only one race we finished outside of the top 10. And it was in an 11th. So not a bad season. Not a bad season at all. Ah, yes. One of those little yellow check marks in the bottom left at the local level. All right. So what does this mean for the rest of the week? Um, tomorrow, uh, we'll get the 305 Sprint Car stuff done. I may only show two showcases just to, you know, keep it short. And sweet, um, same thing with the big block. So uh, big block will be Friday. Uh, 305 will be tomorrow, Thursday. Um, and then hopefully we're able to wrap up the local level in its entirety at the end of this week. Ah, that is going to do it for us here today. This is episode 34 of World of Outlaws the Dirt Racing. I am the OGGO Greg Osmond. Please would like the video share the video subscribe to the channel so you can follow along with the rest of this series check out that video description for our link tree link to our great channel supporters and sponsors as well as information on channel memberships five dollars forever and always what that's gonna get you got some great perks in there so check out channel memberships and perks that are contained within there thank you all so much for watching and we will catch you next time